Hello everybody, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, I'm gonna, today, I'm going to show you how to install a brushless servo motor on a uh, industrial table uh, for sewing machines. Um, brushless motor, the difference between brushless and servo motor, we have many videos that showed you the difference between both, both of them. Brushless is brushless and has a um, control panel as you see here uh, and in the back has many connection outlets and it has a here you have a plug for your uh, lamps which at gold star we only use LED lamps and then here you have the plug for the outlet for 110 volt and then the other plugs are for the motor and brush uh, for if you want to use any other type of uh, hardware or needle positioning, there are many uh, input in the back. And then in here, obviously we showed you before, you have the on and off switch, and you have the counter, and up and down on A, up and down position needle, B is uh, programming, and C and D is uh, the adjustment for the speed. Uh, Every single industrial sewing machine could use this brushless motor. Uh, industrial single needle, overlock, cover stitch, uh, walking foot machine, any type of sewing machine that you could use this one. These are made by us. And this is the bracket. All the brackets are international and standard. There is a slot here and three back in here. And you see right here, it's a new tech. This one is 500, uh, 600 watts, 110 volt, made in China. Uh, it said 110, 220, but the outlet is for 110. Um, we already, the machine comes with the head motor, what you see here, with the belt cover right here with the ball joint uh, attachment part right here. This part goes to the ball joint to the pedal. Three bolts to hold the motor. Uh, six or seven rubber to uh, go under the machine where we're going to adjusted right now that would make sure it will not shake washer uh, nuts bolts uh, fasteners ball joint and a wiring for the outlet you will need a number 14 wrench a Phillips screwdriver or a power tool We'll come back to you and we'll show you how it's done. But before we go ahead, you need the table outside down and all you need to do is put in the three screws the way it is, the bolt, uh, so you could go ahead and adjust the uh, motor. Stay with us. So here we're gonna go and put in the rubbers. This will prevent the machine from shaking. There is six hold right here and they go right there again you could easily if you have a clutch motor on your sewing machine there is right now it's a must to change to brushless motor because it's gonna uh, save you a lot of money on the electricity it's, it's quiet you could adjust the speed it's powerful you're not gonna feel any shaking or anything. You see the tiny motor right here? And by the way, you if you buy our brushless motors, you get an LED lamp with it as well. See, it's all goes in the... You wanna make sure that this pulley and this slot are lined up. And we're gonna show you how. We're gonna go ahead and put the washer in there. 
and the bolt, three washer, three bolt. Before tightening, before fastening, you gotta make sure that this pulley and the hole here, the slot here, for the V belt are lined up. Number 14, wrench. Do not use the. We have adjusted and we're tightening it right now. We're just putting on the K legs just to show you how this thing will work. Um, you want to make sure you have enough room here for the drawer. And with this one, you want to make sure you have room for the control panel for the motor. Two inch yeah, two from inch. the side. Yeah. One, and a half. One and a half inch from the front. This is the front. Yeah. Right here is the front and this is the back, obviously. And then when we assemble the leg, obviously you might have the leg already on. The control panel goes to the right hand side. If you're lefty, you could put it on the left hand side. But if you're right, you want to go to the right hand side. And uh, remember, you don't want it right in the middle because your feet is going to be there operating the sewing machine. Uh, if you turn this upside down, this is going to be to the right. So we're going to also align these two together right here. You also want to make sure you have room for your drawer. But again, if you guys already have the table set up and you have an old sewing machine and you're just changing the motor, you don't have to worry about this. For those of uh, you guys that uh, you do the belt, I mean, you do the drawer, it's gonna be very easy coming in and out. You wanna use the cable fastener to fasten the cable from the back and the top one is where the connection from the cable to the motor goes. You want to make sure it's all the way in and then cover it with the sleeve, the plastic sleeve. So make sure you put in the cable fastener nicely and make sure this is area got to be clear because you're going to have the belt, the V belt. So we have. Uh, set up the motor up there and we actually put in the sewing machine too and to the right hand side as I said goes the control panel here is the knee lifter and here is the pedal and the hinges to the right and to the left this is all um, preferences where you want this exactly set up if you're uh, left-handed or uh, right and you want to make sure it's lined up with the pedal this is the ball joint and right here you see excuse the mess in the back uh, here is the uh, piece that goes connected to the ball joint and obviously the other end to the motor uh, the motor if you want it you have to have like about half an inch to three quarter of play when you do it make sure you have fastened the belt cover also on top make sure they fasten the belt cover um, also make sure that when you're pressing the bobbin winder it will stay uh, in and that's about it when you change the motor you gotta, sometimes if you're changing the motor, you might wanna make sure you have the correct V-belt size because sizes will change. As you see, this is a tiny motor, but in general, brushless motor is one of the best, best motors out there, and obviously new tank makes one of the best. So that's how you set up a brushless servo motor. The main part was the back side of the table, which we did earlier, and this is how you set up the rest. Thank you for watching.